The flexibility that provides Microsoft Graph API to interact with the different Microsoft 365 services is incredible. Now imagine integrating the Power Platform with Microsoft Graph API. The possibilities are, are incredible. In order to do that, we need to configure a custom connector. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution that uses Power Apps, Power uh, Automate, and Graph API through a custom connector. But before going into that, let me explain you a little bit about the flow. The user is going to use a Power Apps application. This Power Apps application will execute a flow. Uh, this flow is to find meeting times. So this flow is going to use a custom connector. These custom connectors communicate with a Graph API. In order to do that, we're going to configure application or delegated permissions in Azure AD depending on the functions or actions that we are going to use from the Graph API. The Power Apps application is also going to execute a second flow to schedule meetings. So this flow will use a custom connector that connects to a Graph API with the corresponding application or delegated permissions. OK, so here we are in our meeting scheduler application. Uh, in this application, we have some information that we are going to provide in order to get the meeting time suggestions. So for example, I am going to specify an attendee because I want to see its availability. I am going to specify a location name. The meeting that I'm going to schedule is going to be a Teams meeting. So that's why I specify Teams meeting. Then I need to specify a date time, a start date date, and a end date. OK. And then a start time and end time, right? So for example, let's say start time is going to be 8 AM. And end time is going to be, uh, let's say, 7 6 p.m. right then and I specify the time zone it's going to be pacific time standard time and the meeting duration which is going to be one hour so in this gallery in the right section you will see all the meeting time suggestions for one hour right I can change that if I'm interested to see availability for a meeting of two hours and here also I have the results and I can even uh, specify, for example, a meeting duration for one and a half hour, right? One and a half hours. So I select this here. I click on find meeting time. And in the right section, you will see the meeting suggestions for one and a half hour, right? So let's select this suggested time. I click here and we have a new screen where we need to specify the subject and the body which is basically the, the content of the email I'm going to send to the to this specific person. The attending name, email, the start time and end time, all of this information comes from the, the first screen. So I schedule the meeting. And now we have this screen where I see all the meetings that I have scheduled previously. So for example, the last meeting is here. This is the, the one that I just scheduled. Um, I can click on join. And at the moment I click on join, basically I'm going to get redirected to Microsoft Teams. I'm going to log, uh, log in in the browser, right? So this is basically the, the experience. So let me go back to the home page. Yeah, so I can click here and see all the meetings that I have previously scheduled. This is basically the, the main functionality. So now let's explain how does it works, right? What we see here is the, the list of custom connectors. We have a meeting scheduler custom connector I have created. Let's review its functionality. If I go to definitions, we are going to see that this custom connector has two uh, actions, right? Then find meeting times and schedule meeting, which is how are the ones that I used in the Power Apps application. We are using a graph a, a API. To, to do both actions, we can see the body, basically is the, the information that we're going to return at the moment we execute this action. Here is the other Graph API I have configured previously and the body, right? Obviously, we, in order for this to work, we need to configure uh, the application or delegated permissions. We can see that in, a, in a, another video. 
So here I have two flows. We are gonna see the find meeting times from Power Apps flow. Let's look at some uh, one of the, the executions which has been successful. So basically, this is a, a flow that executes from a Power Apps application. I get the information, the different variables that store the information, like the end time or the start time, which are basically data I provide from the Power Apps application. And then we have this connector. This is an action from our custom connector, find meeting times, right? And here we see all the inputs and outputs from this execution. So at the end, I just have the response action, which basically returns uh, the data uh, from the execution of this action. Here is the body. This is basically data that I'm going to receive in my Power Apps application. Now let's look at the second flow is the schedule online meetings flow. Uh, which basically is another flow that uh, runs from, from a Power Apps application. So again, I store all the information in these variables. You will see this is the information I just provided from my Power Apps application, right? Like the subject, the content, the start and time, all the information. And then we have the schedule meeting action, which is again an action from my custom connector. We have the input and the output values here, right? For example, the Teams for Business is basically the, the type of meeting that generates a join URL for this meeting, right? And basically we store that in a SharePoint list. All the information from the meetings are stored in, the, in a SharePoint list. However, we can select any other specific uh, store, right? Here you see my SharePoint list that have a, is a scheduled meetings list. It has all these fields, basically all the information relevant for me to join the meeting. And that's it. So now let's go to the Power Apps application. This is my application, it has the following connectors. You will see that we have a connector for the find meeting times from Power Apps flow and another one from the schedule online meetings flow. Also, we have a connector for the scheduling meetings list, right? And from my find meeting time uh, button, basically I execute the flow. I provide all the parameters, which basically are the information in, in my application. And I store everything in a collection, right? The, collect, the call meetings times collection, because all the, the response is going to be stored in that collection. And I'm going to use that in this specific gallery. In the second screen, uh, which is the one that I use to schedule the meeting, basically something similar, right? In this case, instead of uh, storing everything in a collection, I just execute the scheduling meeting action, providing all the parameters that comes from the Power Apps application. And the last uh, the screen is this one, which basically is, uh, provides me a gallery uh, that is connected to a, a scheduled meetings me list, right? which is this specific list. That was all for today's video. If you have any question, please let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next videos. Bye.